It is here! It just arrived! We have the ups, my aunt. Y'all, guess what's here? And full of germs from Corona. around now coming all the way from California like you're gonna bring me some germs here in the Tennessee uh-uh <sighs> smells like the stomach virus this will probably be the most dramatic unboxing video you have ever seen for any product <laughs> let's unbox the box <laughs> oh my gosh there's a tab so I should probably tell you guys the background story of why I got a new MacBook. Oh, it's so white and pure. I wasn't ready for that. Oh, it's so pretty. So real quick, I have a YouTube channel, obviously, that you guys are watching. Thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I've always had Windows computers. I'm also extremely cheap, and I have severe anxiety when I purchase anything over about $100. That's a real thing. I was on the toilet about to vomit for three hours after I bought this. That's another story for another time. I recently upgraded to Adobe Premiere Pro for editing my videos about six or so months ago. It's the best software ever. Love it a lot, except for it requires 16 gigabytes of RAM, and my computer only has eight. So as you can see, there's kind of a problem. So I spend hours and hours extra waiting for my computer to load when I edit videos. So it's time to upgrade to a computer that has at least 16 gigabytes of RAM. That's a bunch of computer language for you. But basically RAM just means you can multitask, open up many windows at once. Your computer will still run efficiently. It can still render video. When I speed things up or slow things down, I was not actually able to physically see that in my editing software until I exported the video for YouTube. I was seeing it the first time you guys were seeing it. Anyways, Long story short, we have the 16 inch MacBook Pro. <laughs> ah, I'm so pretty. I'm getting my germs all over the place. God, this Corona has really changed our life. Oh, I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. <gasps> I forgot to take a thumbnail pic. I'm such an amateur. Do I even deserve this thing for my channel? Hopefully that was good. Oh my God, are we ready? Please excuse the mess in the background. I've been working from home, living at home, breathing at home, eating at home, and uh, I'm not used to that kind of life. You know what I mean? You guys, you ready for this? You've probably never seen an unboxing so weird before. That's when I bring you guys uniqueness. I'm actually afraid I'm gonna get emotional. So back to my story. I was gonna get an actual desktop to edit my videos because obviously you get a higer quality computer in a desktop versus a laptop so you don't have to deal with mobility. And it was gonna be cheaper but better computer. But then I realized I don't ever edit videos in the same location twice. I would literally edit on my couch, in my bed, on my floor, at my desk, at my parents' house, at Starbucks, at Panera. So a desktop was not my smartest decision. Are you guys waiting for me to open this? I am so excited. <laughs> I don't think I'm ready for this. So then I was watching tons and tons and tons of YouTube videos of the best editing software laptops to get, Windows and Apple. And out of all the videos that I watched, the main consensus was there's one Asus brand laptop that's really nice for video editing. Either the first or second top rated video editing laptop that I've seen on all the videos was a MacBook Pro. Not a MacBook Air, Air doesn't have enough RAM because it's really tiny and sleek, doesn't weigh nothing. You have to get a Pro for more RAM. All right, here we go. Here we go. Are we ready? I feel like I need to do stretches. Ow! Did you guys see it? Did you guys see it? <gasps> you guys, it's my fruit computer. Got my little two fruit, little fruit. Oh my God, there's plastic between me and the computer. I also definitely expected to be all dressed up and ready for this super cute unboxing video, but I was so excited when I saw that ups man coming up the drive. It's so pretty. You guys. So back to my story. I was first looking at the 13 inch MacBook Pro that was released I think in 2018. It was about $500, $600 cheaper, which would have been great. But my history of anything expensive, I literally do not upgrade. I use everything until it's death. And I'm driving a 13 year old car. <laughs> I will get a new car when the wheels fall off and I literally have to. So me knowing that about myself, I didn't want to get an older laptop because I'll probably keep it for like a decade and then I'll be super, super outdated. Whereas I could get a newer laptop that I'm going to keep for a long time. You guys get what I'm saying? I'm not wanting to upgrade to keep up with the cool kids. Oh my God, that was so satisfying. Let me do it for you guys. 
Ah! Let's do it a third time, okay? Ah! You guys are probably like, are you ever gonna get this thing open? So back to my story. I found one refurbished from Apple themselves. I was not gonna do no third party. I ain't risking that. Apple certified refurbished. Macbook Pro. So I saved $400 getting refurbished, plus they have free shipping during this coronavirus. Cause they don't want you buying from Amazon for the same price. So yes, it was extremely expensive. Yes, I had anxiety for about six hours. I was in full depression mode. I had to call all my friends because I literally started crying. And I never regretted the purchase. I just literally could not believe that I bought such an expensive thing for such a small YouTube channel because I don't make a lot of money from YouTube if you guys have not figured that out. It is growing and I hope the best for it, but then I had to realize I really like editing videos. So even if nobody watches my videos and my channel just dies into the ocean and I plan to always keep on YouTube because it's really fun. Oh my God. You guys, the apple is a mirror. Look at yourself. Look at yourself in there. Okay, you ready? <gasps> oh, it's turning on. I just spit all over the screen. That's my saliva because it's my computer. Also, let's just take a moment and look how big the trackpad is on the Apple. Yo, ain't no windows come close. These trackpads tiny. You gotta have tiny fingers on a mouse. And underneath the computer, we have some pretty aesthetically placed items. Again, this computer was refurbished, so I'm still impressed that they all come just like they're from the factory. So this is my computer antenna. Crack myself up. The owner's manual that probably not a single person has ever read. Oh, Apple stickers. You need to eat more healthy, but you don't like healthy food. And my giant charging box. Oh, look at that. Oh. It still looks the same. Oh, oh, oh Lord, he's got some weight. He's thick. Oh, that is seriously heavy. All right, and I think this is just part of the box. It is. Oh, what's my English? Southern. To use English as the main language, press the return key. Where's the return key? Oh. Did it work? Ah! Mac OS contains a built-in screen reader called VoiceOver. Press the command key while you press Touch ID three times at the right end of the touch bar. To learn how to use VoiceOver to set up your Mac, press the escape key. That was way too much information. Computer using only your keyboard. Do I have a woman in living inside this computer and a man? I'm so excited. I can barely see y'all because I got my new computer. <laughs> He's dumb, pretty. Oh, good, that's it. That was a good guess. <laughs> Verification code. I don't know where my phone's at. Hey, Siri. Hey, Siri. Hey, Siri. Siri! 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 Hey, Siri. Oh, it was down here the whole time. I can't believe this laptop hasn't died already because every other thing I get in the mail from technology dies in the first five minutes. They give you like 3% battery to enjoy it knowing you're all excited waiting for it. It already has my card on file. It's setting up my Mac for me. I'm so ready to play with it. <laughs> you guys, look at my home screen. It's the same as everybody else's that gets an apple for the first time. This one time when I was in Fiji, I climbed on the top of these mountains and I got a drone. I took the super cool picture and then Apple stole it from me and never gave me the credit. <laughs> Y'all, my laptop is 85% charged. Never have I ever received technology that's the least bit charged. Oh, they love me. Oh my gosh, what should we do? Hey Siri, call Amy. Calling Amy Green. Yeah. Y'all, she's at work. Hey. Ames. What's up? I'm calling you on my computer. <laughs> oh, look at you. <laughs> I know, I'm staying hip just like you. I'm so excited. <laughs> That's awesome. It is exciting. I remember when I first got mine, I was like carried around like a baby. I was like so afraid. That yeah. It hurt. Yeah. You're gonna love it, heaven. I'm this so excited. So for it. Well, you were my first phone call. I had to call. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, enjoy the rest of your day. Okay. You too. Bye. Bye. Well, that was fun. Y'all, let's see if my sister wants to FaceTime. Blurry, but it's cool. Look, here's my phone. Where's little Ellie? 
Oh, she's just sitting here. Edison! Edison! You were the cutest. You were always the cutest. What's not fun, you guys? Let's do the old classic Google search. What's something we've always wanted to know? How do airplanes fly? Something I've never understood. Yeah, I wanna play the video. There is no net force on them. And this is no the loudest speakers I've ever heard. Stays at rest, and an object in motion stays that way. Did y'all hear those speakers? Oh my God, my neighbors are gonna report me. So this thing here is a touch screen and it changes as you click things. This is really hard to do while filming. So I can change that, it'll change back. This is the little back button. Then something else popped up. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's changing my screen. Oh! So don't get the idea I know how to use the touch bar. You guys just saw me just get it. All right, y'all, I'm gonna go back to learning how airplanes fly. I'll catch y'all in a minute. Turns out I should have taken that physics class in high school that I never took. Has something to do with a lot of air molecules in the air, not many being on top, a lot being underneath the wing, plus you have a propeller or a jet fishing air through it, which forces the plane up, in case you were wondering. Let's look at my calendar. Oh my gosh. I've went this, I can't. Happy Earth Day, everybody. What in the world? Here we are in quarantine, not even getting to enjoy the earth. I gotta make sure I go outside later. Ooh, let's look at my photos. <laughs> you guys wanna see this watercolor that I try to paint of my dog? <laughs> You're looking through a screen at a screen of a picture of a picture. Sign in, yes I will. Hello, welcome back, it's on a new computer. Google's about to send me that email saying, we realized you tried to log in on a new device in Knoxville, Tennessee. Do you authorize this? That's the voice I imagine when I read those emails. Oh, there's all my email. There's my two Google alerts. <laughs> Called it. There it is on my phone. Oh my gosh, let's see if I can hook up my iPad as a second screen. Should I do it tall ways? Oh my God, this is embarrassing, making my iPad look tiny. Welcome to my office, you guys. <laughs> we have a 16 inch and a four inch. Just kidding, I don't know how big that is. Oh! <gasps> Did y'all see the magic happen? There's my toolbar! It's so tiny. I don't know what to do. I don't even need the one screen at the moment, let alone two. All right, you guys, I've been playing with this laptop for literally an hour. I'm getting Instagram notifications on my computer. This is the coolest thing. So thank you guys for watching my unboxing video. I am so, 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 so excited. I hope this does not come off as braggy or anything of that kind because we are in a pandemic and a lot of people lost their jobs. A lot of people are in a financial crunch and I feel for those people. It was also extremely difficult to get myself to buy this, but I'm so proud of myself for doing it. I feel like it was an adult step in the right direction. The next step is gonna have to be a new car. But again, we're gonna wait until my car falls apart before that happens. <laughs> so anyways, you guys, thanks for watching my video and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!